you may have heard water being described as either being hard or soft. Now this doesn't mean that it's frozen or liquid. It actually refers to the mineral content of the water. Hard water can actually be a problem. When they say something has hard water, it usually means that it has a high calcium or magnesium content in the water. Now the magnesium and calcium can precipitate out. This is called scale. And the precipitate can end up clogging plumbing. You may also have noticed hard water when in a shower or bath the calcium and magnesium ions will bind to the sterate ion in soap which means that the soap doesn't lather up and it's not as effective so you actually have to use more of it to get clean and the sterate ion in the soap precipitates out with the calcium or the magnesium ions in the water and it forms soap scum when you see rings in the bathtub afterwards that is evidence of hard water now there are several ways to get rid of hard water or to soften the water. There are some pretty common commercial systems that use ion exchange. But a real simple way to get rid of calcium ions uses the common ion effect, which is something that we talked about when we did acids and bases and buffers. So let's look at an example. Let's say a homeowner is worried about the calcium ion and they've tested their well to found out that the calcium ion is coming from calcium carbonate in the minerals that are being dissolved in the water. So first things first, assuming normal temperatures, what would be the concentration of calcium ions if the well water is saturated with calcium carbonate? As we've done several times before, if we want to know a concentration, we need a KSP value. For calcium carbonate, the KSP value is 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9. Let's begin with our reaction. Calcium carbonate, CaCO3 solid. It's going to break apart into calcium, which is aqueous, and the carbonate ion, which is aqueous. So KSP is going to equal the concentration of the calcium ion times the concentration of the carbonate ion. And we just looked up the KSP value to be 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9. So this one's pretty straightforward. We're looking for the concentration of the calcium ion, so we could say that's x. And because of the 1 to 1 ratio, all of these are x as well. So we can say x times x equals 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9, or that's going to be equal to x squared. So x here is going to equal 9.33 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. And that's going to be true for my calcium carbonate, but more importantly for my calcium ion and my carbonate ion. Let's talk about a way of softening this water. The same homeowners with calcium carbonate saturated in their drinking water. Now, to soften it, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of calcium ions. And we can do this by adding sodium carbonate. Because sodium carbonate shares a common ion with calcium carbonate, we can affect this equilibrium using Le Chatelier's principle. I want to know what will happen if we put one mole of sodium carbonate in two liters of this well water what will be the new concentration of the calcium ions? To understand what happens when we add sodium carbonate to the well water, let's remind ourselves what we did previously, when we just had calcium carbonate in the lime water. We showed the dissolution of calcium carbonate into calcium ion and carbonate ion. And I see now that I actually forgot to write a double arrow when I wrote this earlier, because this reaction is indeed reversible which led to our equilibrium work that we did below. What is significant about adding sodium carbonate? Well, sodium carbonate has the carbonate ion. So the carbonate ion is the common ion of the calcium carbonate. Let's remember Le Chatelier's principle. If you increase the concentration of one of the products, that equilibrium is going to shift to the left, which means the amount of calcium carbonate is going to decrease. It also means the amount of calcium will decrease. So by increasing the carbonate, we're going to decrease the calcium carbonate and the calcium ion in solution. 
let's do the work now. We know that KSP is going to equal the concentration of calcium ions, and that's what we're looking for here, times the concentration of carbonate ions. Well, initially the carbonate ions that we found were 9.33 times 10 to the negative 5. The carbonate ion that we're adding now is 1 mole per 2 liters, so this is 0.5 molar. So I'm adding 0.5 molar carbonate ion to solution. Now 0.5 plus 9.33 times 10 to the negative 5 is just 0.5. The amount of carbonate I'm adding is significantly more than what I had initially, so we can ignore that. But our equilibrium constant is still going to be 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9. If I solve for x here, I get 1.74 times 10 to the negative 8. And again, that's molar. So x is representing our concentration of calcium ion. So what happened by adding carbonate? Well, my initial concentration of the carbonate ion was 9.33 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. My new concentration of carbonate ion is 1.74 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. So I've decreased my concentration by more than a thousand, which is pretty impressive. The common ion effect is simply Le Chatelier. By choosing to add something with a common ion, you are adding product to your equilibrium, which shifts the equilibrium to the left, which would decrease the concentration of the other ion, as well as decreasing the concentration of the solute. So the common ion effects decreases the solubility by adding a substance that shares a common ion. In this case, we decrease the solubility of calcium carbonate by adding sodium carbonate to the solution.